Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is the FBC House of Colors. Couple of those might work. Alright, we're going to need an old welding rod. That'll do. Some painter's tape. A few pieces of strapping. We're going to stack the strapping together. And then, using the painter's tape, we're going to lash the strapping together. Find somewhere to set up your ladders. And then you use your strapping to make a bridge. I also use the tape to lash the strapping to the ladder so that it's secure. I looped my welding rod around somewhere towards the center of the frame and then used a pair of needle nose pliers to twist it around a couple times. Oh, I just happen to have these super mega long zip ties and I grab one of those all right and then I just passed it through my welding rod loop okay and I'm gonna leave both ends unattached so that I can grab one with each hand and we'll be attaching it to our tower before I do that I put a little bondo on my touch-up areas and I'm just gonna sand that real quick clean it up Hit it with a little primer. All right, got all my touch-ups done. Everything smooth again. Next, I'm gonna hang it up. I'm gonna prime those spots. But, uh, all right, I busted out the big guns, just in case. First thing, touch it up with a primer. And then, we hit them with that grill paint. This time, guys, we got silver. Oh, yeah. One coat. All right, guys, two cans and two coats. This one's a tough protective enamel, resists heat up to 1200. Um, the black one that I usually use is more of a satin finish. Uh, it's also rated for 1200, but where this is an enamel, we're not going to be clear coating. Uh, we're just going to let this cure up 
and do its thing. But uh, we'll go take a peek. All right, guys. Here it is. I'm going to try to go around it without touching it. And also keeping the sunlight to my back. Not too bad. Now this one is sort of a satin enamel too, but it has that really fine bright sparkle to it. So be interesting to see how it looks once it dries. Okay, it's had plenty of time to dry. I'm now going to be taking it down you hear that thunder? We got a storm coming. I'm gonna get this thing inside. All right, in this light, you can really see what I'm going for. More so if I turn it this way. See how it gives off different shades of grays and silver? That's what I want, all right? I wanted this to have sort of that raw steel look but you know all the advantages of not being raw steel because it would rust so here's what we got um it's very flat to the touch all right um it hasn't even cured overnight but i can tell you right now this is a nice hard enamel okay and that's what i want i want something that's going to be easy to maintain and something that's easy to repair so when i go to put my motor on all right and we're gonna drill our four holes out we can do that and then it's just a quick spritz and we're good to go same thing with the chain tensioner all right if we decide to change the brakes in the future uh if we want to put a live axle kit on it or something can do that all right and it's going to be a lot easier to cut those parts off and weld new ones on and repair it you know than if we did something with a high gloss finish clear coat and all that stuff don't worry it's going to have more color we're just going to do it a different way well I do have this pile of parts, and we are going to have to mock this thing up. Hmm, what should I do? Alright guys, I got a few parts mocked up on here. Um, nothing's tight. Alright, everything's just, you know, finger snug. So, here's what we got so far. Not too bad for an old beat up doodle bug, huh? We're still gonna have some figuring out to do down here. Okay, um, I'm well aware of all the obstacles I've created here. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to this. <laughs> You know what this is, guys. But, do you know what this is? I do. It's an ever-growing pile of parts. From my friend Grey Goat. In OMBWarehouse.com Can't wait to get to that, guys. It's going to be fun. And as always, it's a work in progress. Have a good night. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.